Well, more and more kids under the age of five are getting a hold of edibles containing THC. It's an alarming trend, sending some kids to the hospital or even worse. On your side's Amy Avery shows us how you can stop these drugs from falling into the wrong hands. This may look like an ordinary gummy bear or a regular bag of chips, but they're actually laced with THC. Dorito chips, things like that, Fritos, those type of edibles is what I'm seeing more than the actual cookies or things that you can bake at your home. Virginia Beach Police Sergeant Derek Reed recently served as a narcotics detective and says they're seeing more edibles on the streets because of recent law changes regarding marijuana use. He says a lot of the products that contain Delta 8 are being shipped in from out of state and usually have a warning label on the packaging. There's some type of uh, sign or anything showing a THC product or this is um, containing some type of Delta 8. The number of calls to poison control centers about kids five and under consuming edibles containing THC rose from about 200 in 2017 to more than 3,000 in 2021. In Virginia, the Poison Center has seen a 2,300 percent increase in THC related calls in the past five years. Dr. Ruddy Rose from the Virginia Poison Center says this drastic increase in pediatric exposures is concerning. I think probably the common denominator is that these things are marketed to things that appeal to children. Dr. Rose says they've also seen mass overdoses at schools when kids or teens hand out these products in the hallways. Three students from Tallwood High School in Virginia Beach went to the hospital earlier this year after eating gummies laced with THC. These drugs may have one effect one day, but the next day it could be worse. So you never want to take that chance. Dr. Rose says if you look at all poison center calls for kids under the age of six, it's a 13% rate of being evaluated at a hospital. But for edibles, it's a 78% rate of kids being treated in a hospital and 8% are going to the ICU. Sometimes only one dose is all it takes to make somebody pretty sick. Dr. Rose says if your child has accidentally eaten one of these products, they may seem fussy, sleepy, or out of the ordinary. He says it's important to poison proof your home so these products don't fall into the wrong hands. If you think your child has gotten into one of these, don't, don't be embarrassed. You know, call the poison center, let us help you. Amy Avery, 10 on your side. The poison centers who serve Virginia have sent their data to the state legislature and they say these numbers are concerning and hope the legislature will discuss outlawing edibles that resemble food products that appeal to kids.